Cracker Snatcher here. We're live from the streets of Ridgecrest, Ridgecrest, California. Look at all the snow. See all that snow? It's pretty intense. This is my hometown. This is where I'm from. I was born and raised out here. I love Ridgecrest. Rich Crest is like the best thing ever. Ah, I rode my bicycle from Rich Crest, Rich Crest, California. And I was like, I need to go somewhere to get some work. And I look at the map and I'm like, Los Angeles. That's my neighbor. So I got on my bicycle and I rode all the way down to Long Beach. And I started applying for jobs and shit. And I, I got a job at Costco. Costco was really cool. I had a lot of fun at Costco. See that snow? That's thick. Thick like my wife's butt cheeks. I got I got three wives, if you didn't know. Oh, it's slippery. Emma, Morgan, and Lily. If you put all their names together, though, it's spelled Elm. Like, Emma's E, L's Lily, and M's Morgan. So it's like Nightmare on, Nightmare on Elm Street. See that snow? So it's bless you. Uh oh. Yeah, but Ridge Crest is like, I was a, I was a Pokemon trainer. It was my star town. I lived here like my whole life. So it was a bit scary at first to leave it. I'm on my way to a Thanksgiving party. So that's going to be cool. So I'm blogging until we get there. This area doesn't have any snow. Because it's got some trees. It's a little chilly out right now. But I gotta stay focused on the mission. The mission for cash. I'm always on that mission to get that sweet, sweet moolah. So I can feed my ducks. My ducks are my wife. And they're always hungry. They're like, feed me. You're the king of nothing because you don't feed me enough. They're always asking for more and more and more. And then when I work all the time, they're like, you never spend any time with me. So it's like, no matter what I do, I can't win. So I just do my best. No matter what. Like, I'm on it, sweetie. That's why I got three wives. It's because, like, I'm such a beast that they love me no matter what. So they come and visit me. We all got our own houses. Morgan doesn't live at her house, though. She lives at the methadone clinic. It's pretty chilly out. I'm trying not to slip. It's all, it's all slushy. The 50 different shades of Cracker Snatcher. They're all dead handsome. I got this beard. I don't know if you can see it too well. This is this is what I look like. I got this shirt on. It's got a bunch of fishes. Boy, do I love fishes. I eat fish. And all that good stuff. I have to turn up here, I believe. I want to come to Rich, Rich Crest like once a year during Thanksgiving. There I visit family members in the in the next video I'm going to show you my my friend's house Atran when I was little I didn't have anywhere to go so Atran and his family let me live with them and they've been my new family ever since then so it's my job to like take care of them and bring the food home like not only do I got to feed my wife I got to feed all of them too. I'm on that mission. You see that snow? I'm trying not to slip right now. 
It'd be really bad if I slipped. I don't want to slip. I'm too young to slip. I won't make it if I slip. They'll have to call the helicopter in. Especially on these slopes. Uh-oh. It's all slush. They call it black ice. The red asphalt is trying to take me out. And I'm like, no. I have a vision. I have a dream. I can't go yet. I got to keep sludging on forward. In the rain, the snow, day or night, I'm always on that mission. The quest for cash. You put the money in the bag and nobody gets hurt. And that's just how it works. I always put the money in the bag. And I'm not asking for too much. I don't ask for anything, really. All I do is work with something you do it non-stop as soon as I wake up and until I go to bed. Whew. Yeah, we're almost at the destination. Also, the 10 minute mark is also part of the destination. 10 minutes, yeah, that's when you know you get that sweet, sweet monetization. And as you all know, I do need some money. Not money from you guys, no. I want money from those corporations. I want to take from the rich and give it to the poor. Because you guys are already struggling enough. Like, I know, I've been there. I've seen it, I've done it, and I know you guys are struggling too, so I don't want to take from you guys when I know just how bad it is. I want you all to succeed so I can succeed. That's how it works for now, now that I'm the big dog. I'm like, the strong become the protectors of the weak. No longer do we chase down the weak and tear them down. We build them up. So that we all may live in a world together, coexisting. That's what they call it. We put our backs together and we start climbing. Climbing that mountain of success. I'm always on that mission. Never stop it. I call it beast mode. I've been grinding so long, living like an animal, that I too have become animalistic. But I haven't sacrificed myself to it. I've only adopted it. So I'm like part beast, part man. Technically, I'm like a werewolf. Like in the day, I might seem fine and normal. But at night, I turn into a monster. But I, I only attack bad people. I don't attack good people. Whew. The road's coming up. We're going to have to cross by Frogger. I'm going to hide under this tree temporarily. See some cars coming. We can't run. Otherwise, we're going to slip. So we got to wait for all the cars. We can't go because that car might get us. We can't run. But we can hide. Gotta take it nice and slow, let him go. And go do his thing. We're going, we're going across. Uh oh. We made it. We got like 45 seconds left. The phone's warning me. It's like, you're running out of space. So I don't even know if we're gonna make it to the 10 minute mark. Some more snow. It's a Christmas miracle on Thanksgiving. You all keep singing Christmas songs. <laughs> Saying it's Christmas. Well, now you got your wish. It's Christmas time. On Thanksgiving. And I don't know if I like it. But I'll have to tolerate it. Because I don't really get a choice in this matter. Like with my wife. I never get a choice. All I got to do is just keep flexing every day, crack her out.